in this video i'm going to show you the entire process of installing a brand new boiler we'll start with taking the old boiler off to throwing this new boiler on doing all the pipe work and everything involved so let's start from the beginning this is the boiler we're taking out it's a worcester junior and the customer just aren't happy with it they said it's not working properly and they want to upgrade so first thing we're going to do is our safety checks we're going to make sure the ecv isn't bypassing we're going to make sure there's no gas leaking once we've done that we can then start to smash out our flue all the cement is out we've just got a few screws and once they're out the flue should just slide out So now the flue's out of the way, we can start taking the boiler off the wall. Now, this boiler is a little bit more complicated to take off than any other boiler. It comes off in a few parts, so that's what we're going to do now. And that's all the cables out. Next, we need to turn off the water. Water's off, I've gone around the house, opened all the hot taps to drain any residual water in there and now we're going to drain down the boiler. So like I said before, there's a few steps of decommissioning this boiler. So the first thing we do is remove this contents strap. Next we need to remove this expansion vessel hose. So 9 out of 10 times this expansion vessel is going to be flat, it's going to be completely full of water. So I'm going to get my pump, charge it, get rid of all the water, then I can take it out. Now the boiler's finished draining, we can pull out the clip and pull out the hose. And now we need to undo these five nuts on the boiler. So that's a return done. Next I'm going to do the gas because the span is already set to that size. But for some reason on these boilers, I feel like these gas nuts are always just glued shut. So, I'm going to grab the hammer, give it a good whack, and it will loosen it up. Well, <laughs> that didn't work. Let's try again. And there you go. Now it's loose. Now we've got the flow. And last but not least, the hot nut. There's no play in this PRV, so I'm just going to cut it out. So at this point, the expansion vessel part of the boiler and the actual boiler itself separate. So I'm going to move this hose out of the way, and you can see the boiler is ready to move. I just need to lift up these nuts because they're getting caught. Cool. Now, boiler should be ready to come off. So what's left is basically the bracket for the boiler. So we've got two screws at the bottom. We need to undo these five nuts so we can take the pipes away from the bracket. And you can see it's loose, pretty much ready to come off. We just got two more screws to do at the top. But my normal bit for my impact isn't going to fit, so I'm going to take that out, put an extension piece in, so now we can reach the screw all the way at the back. There we go, that's the old boiler off. 
and here we have our Worcester 1000 so what we're going to do we're going to take a template out put it on the wall and line it up and the beauty is because there's the Worcester coming out and the Worcester going in the pipes pretty much line up exactly the same So I've made sure it's level, going to mark out all my other holes and then I can drill those. That's the bracket all done, now I see to trim down these pipes so they're not in the way of the boiler. Now, I don't know if it's just me being weird, you can let me know in the comments below, but does anyone else practice putting the boiler on the wall before they do it? I feel like sometimes because the boiler is so heavy, you only really got a short amount of time to put it on. So I just like knowing I've practiced it. This is the motion. There's a lot of space. This is how I'm going to do it. But yeah, you can let me know if you do that as well. And now it's time for the flue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it through the wall. This flue is telescopic. So I'll go outside, adjust it, get it to the right length, mark it, and then take it out, screw it, and put it back in. And at this point, the flue is pretty much all done. Just going to cement it, but I'll do that at the end. Everything pretty much lines up perfect. Flow, hot. Gas is a little bit different because they give you an offset, but everything else, pretty much perfect. On the install, I think one of the nicest things that can happen is when the pipes just line up perfect because you end up piping up in about 10 minutes. And then from there, once you've done the flue, you've piped up, you're pretty much 85% done. So that's the flow done, just need to press it. Now I'm just measuring out the hot pipe in terms of how much I need to cut this 15 more pipe. That's the flow done, the hot done, now we just need to do the cold. Now in terms of the PRV, what do you think? Should I just balance it in the middle here and hope no one notices? <laughs> now I'm not going to do that, I'm going to cut it back and now I'll probably put two straights. And that's the PRV done. So in terms of the return now, again, pop the magnet on, 
and it's just a straight pipe and there you go that's all the pipes done just need to quickly press it do a quick tightness test but everything is all good Okay, and now we can turn the water back on and excuse the marks on my arms. I promise I don't have a disease. I was soldering in the ceiling above my head and solder dripped on my arms. And as you can imagine, it wasn't the nicest of feelings, but we got through it. It didn't leak in the end, which is the, the main thing. I think it would have been worse if I burnt myself and then it leaked because I had to do it again. But um, anyway, that's a, a story for another time. And there you go, flue cemented on the inside and outside, and that's the flue all done. So in terms of the wiring, I'm going to use this Snippix stripper to expose the individual cables. In terms of putting the cables in the terminals, I always find it much easier to take them out and do it. So I've pulled it out and you can see now I've put the live and neutral in. The two cables done for the thermostat. And last but not least, we have the earth we need to do. Now at this point, the boiler is pretty much all done. I just need to fill up, set up the boiler, set up the thermostat, do all the small things such as tidying away the cables, making things look neat, pack away all the tools. But while I'm doing all that, I'm going to do a hot flush with the heating on. And once the hot flush is done, I'm going to drain the system. I will isolate the towel radiator in the bathroom. I'll then fill it up with inhibitor and I'll bleed it and make sure everything's working all good.